Hello and happy Wednesday. We're halfway done with the week. Um, today we're going to just go over a couple of um, things that are important to know. Um, last night the board members got together and they talked about hybrid and remote learning and they voted and decided that we will be um, staying at home teaching remotely till the end of January and then they will meet on February 1st to decide if we will do hybrid or you know home remote learning so I just wanted everyone to be aware of that that we are planning to be 100% online for the entire month of January okay another important announcement is tonight is open house I believe it starts at 5.30 with administration sharing a little blurb, and then they're going to have a schedule where you can rotate to different classes. The classes, we're told, instead of like a regular open house, what they want instead is like marketing and sharing what, you know, makes us special with each class. So that was a little surprise to me. Usually I share all the students' work, and so I um, had to change because that's what they asked. Um, so I'm like, well, geez, I want to share the students' work. So I was thinking of putting on um, my website, you would just go to Buena Park High School, you'd go to staff, you would type in Brown or I'm lazy, I just scrolled down to the second row here. And this is every teacher should have information. I have view website. So here's my website. I've shared this with you guys in the past. But I'm planning on adding like a link for each period with different artwork of yours to share. Now, my concern is some of you may not be interested in sharing your autobiographies with the world. So I'm trying to figure out um, how I can highlight each class without um, sharing all your personal bio information because I just think that's a little sensitive to be putting online. So. Um, that's going to take me a little bit of time, and um, I just hope you're patient with me. I apologize for the last minute change. It doesn't mean you're not going to get your points for doing whatever I asked you to do. You'll still get those points. It's just different than what I envisioned for open house and how we usually do things. But I don't make the rules. I just follow the rules. I don't have to always like it. I just need to be cooperative and help. Um, so that's important. Also, I'm sorry, I want to go back to this. I'd love for you guys, especially if you're really interested in art and taking a second year of art, the AP exam, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and you don't have to take the AP exam. Um, that's called special studies. Uh, I would love for you to take a look at some of these students work, not to intimidate you. They all were in your shoes. They were all beginners. They were all learning the basics just like you. Um, some of you are at a higher level than others and, and that's okay. Um, we get there. We have these epiphanies. We learn the ropes and then you can branch out and get really creative from there. I, I want you, you know, to take time and take a look at these and get inspired. And, you know, all of them were in your shoes. A lot of them had never done art before and they were amazed with what they were able to accomplish. You can do that too. So please take a look. And here's a little video blurb of what the classroom looks like. I'm not going to go over that right now, but you know where to go to, to look at that. Back to what we're doing today, there will be a proof of practice and we are practicing observational skills. Now, building upon the new knowledge of observation using basic lines and shapes to sketch, I want you to crop um, screenshots of eyes, okay? We're doing a side eye. These are examples of side eyes. What I would like for you to do today is find a, you know, a photograph online, or you can take a photograph of your own eye or your brother's eye. I don't care whose eye it is, okay? And, you know, we want it to be a zoomed in shot so you can draw all the details and shade all the details. This is a side view eye that you're doing on your own. I am not walking you through it. And you get to have the creative freedom to select the eye that you are observing and drawing. Okay, so you're going to draw it accurately using basic shapes and lines, how I taught you, and then you're going to include a full value range. So today there is a proof of practice. I will create it right now. Um, how do I do that? 
Sorry, sometimes my brain goes. It should pop up right here. Maybe it's just at the top. Let me see. Okay. Um, here we go. So I'm going to create, I'm going to reuse an old post, and I'm going to make my adjustments to it for your proof of practice today. I reuse Tuesdays. i got to remember to name it Wednesday. And I'm going to walk you through how to do a screenshot. So you're going to get a photograph or take a photo and draw the side view eye and shade a full value range just like yesterday but this time you're doing your own eye of your choice so remember to do draw the lashes and eyebrows last draw the eye eyelashes and brows last that way they're not blurry okay so that's really important so you need to include the reference photo and your drawing you can't say you didn't know you didn't understand no there's none of that and I'm going to show you how to do a screenshot now. We'll um, at least give you directions. That will be due at 3 p.m. today. So when you go to the agenda, here it says for Chromebooks, if you to do a screenshot, like let's say you search the internet, you find a picture of Kobe Bryant, and you zoom in on his eyeball, what you would do is you'd press Control, shift and the key above the number six to do a screenshot of just his side eye. Does that make sense, Robert? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So I gave you the directions right here. And now you have class time. And this will be due by 3 p.m. today. So I went ahead and what I just did is a basic, you know, um, I'm going to just use Kobe. Kobe Bryant. Okay. So I'm going to try to find a nice photograph that has pictures of his eye that I really like, that I could see the eyelashes and all the details. So you got to be really picky about the picture that you use because you're going to be zooming in. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to. Oh, this is a good one. So I'm going to grab this picture, get it as large as I can. And you know what? I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Let me zoom in. I don't know if you guys can zoom in with your your Chromebooks. And then I'm going to go um, press the shift. What did I say it was? Shift. Mine's different because I'm on a MacBook. On yours, it's shift, control, and the key above the six. So then I can look at that photo. Oh my goodness, and make it bigger, obviously. And then I can draw his eye. So that's what you're doing today. So I'm gonna draw that eye, I'm gonna draw a circle. I always start with a circle. And then I start with the basic lines. And I really pay attention to that curve of those two outer lines and how they're shaped. I gotta pay attention to where the iris is located. I can't see his pupil, but I can see there's some reflections here. I see that there's like a bag over here, and then there's this part right here. And so that gives me the basics. Yes, you need to include the eyebrow. So I'm gonna kinda map out where that eyebrow is. I'm just kinda sketching oh his eyebrows totally different than what i thought does anybody need any clarification about this so i'm even drawing 
little side part that I see here. And then you're going to start shading it in. So I did the basic information. I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm going to start shading in. I'll let a student in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop my video. I hope that helps you. Don't forget to blend. And do eyelashes and eyebrows last.